very proud to be part of this moment as you conclude this chapter in your lives and to be able to speak to what comes next. Seeing you become old Jesuits is the moment of pride for everyone, fellows and staff in the college. You taking on the next chapter of your life is why we are here. Meeting you all this year, individually and in groups, I've been struck by your resilience, your humour, your grace and your intelligence. You are articulate and smart in a very, very rounded manner. It's that core of resilience that I think has got you through this year. I could never have anticipated that my first year in Cambridge and your last year would have occurred at a time of a global pandemic. What I hope is that even in the face of these unexpected events, that there are solid things that you now take away with you to prepare to leave Cambridge or finish this particular stage of your learning. Firstly, I hope you've had time to form. I'm sure each of you walked up the chimney three or four years ago, fresh and keen to engage in the experiences Cambridge and Jesus had to offer. I hope in the time since then you've found out about yourself. I hope you feel you have grown, that you've questioned yourself. Perhaps you've taken one or two wrong turns along the way, but now you've emerged as confident people. Secondly, I hope you've had time to experiment, to have pushed yourself in sporting or artistic or intellectual endeavours, to have created new things from scratch, to have had fun and to have created lots of laughter with friends. I hope you've actively explored questions and phrases such as what if I did the following or wouldn't it be great if or couldn't we invent a machine which did X and to realise that the person in your life who needs to provide the answer to so many questions in the world is you. I hope you found your power at Jesus, your sense of agency and that you leave ready to keep changing the world and making things happen for yourself. Finally, I hope you've had time to relish the time you got to explore your deeply beautiful brains, to luxuriate in learning, to love your subject, to be challenged by your subject. I know you will take that intellectual rigour forward into your next roles and that it will serve you well. The couple of years immediately after leaving college can be a bit like a brand new outfit you're struggling to get completely comfortable with. All your energy goes into working out what it looks like figuring out how it makes you feel or how you stride around in a new set of clothing in what can seem like a new persona. Once you figure that out, which you will, my biggest hope and the thing I feel most certain of is that your path through life will always lead you back up the chimney here to Jesus. Congratulations to you all, the graduates of 2020. We are so, so proud of you in this particular year. The time's gone fast, hasn't it? Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. 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 Well done. Congratulations. 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 In the 12th century, when the first universities were being set up to rival the monasteries as centres of education and learning, the groups of scholars modelled themselves on medieval guilds. Members of the medieval guilds progressed through three ranks. The lowest was apprentice, next was journeyman, and finally master craftsman. Similarly, as members of the University of Cambridge, you progress through three stages. You are now, but not for much longer, in the lowest, corresponding to the apprentices of the guild. You were admitted to this stage when you matriculated at the beginning of your apprenticeship here three or four years ago. You will be elevated to the second stage on the 27th of June or the 8th of July when you become a BA of the university. Each time the guildsmen pass to a higher stage, there was an elaborate ceremony and that pattern is followed by the university. The university and colleges are planning to hold graduation events for you in Cambridge, including a ceremony at the Senate House, so that you and your friends and families can celebrate your achievements properly. I look forward to welcoming you back to Jesus for your graduation ceremony in the hopefully not too distant future and wish you every success in the years to come. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, all of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Many congratulations to all of you. Greetings, graduates. I am the prior which means that I present you for the degree which you have earned today. The degree starts with me as the prior lecturer, greeting the master, 
Dignissima Domina, most illustrious lady, I present to you these women and these men who are worthy. The ceremony is unique in many, many ways. But one of these is that I, as the first woman prior lector, am presenting you for your degree to the first woman master. I have spared you the vast amounts of Latin that you would have had to listen to in the Senate House, but I would like to say one thing, which is, let us rejoice, gaudamus, because there is much to rejoice about and there will be much to rejoice about in your life. Many congratulations to you all. We'll hope to see you back at Jesus again soon, and I hope you get to have more than a virtual celebration very soon. Congratulations to everyone graduating. Congratulations. And for my Hebrew students, Behatzlacha. Congratulations. 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 And we'd like to say, congratulations. Very well done. Mm -hmm.